tonight we have Al Haytham's character demo. I'm excited for this one. This one's called Think Before You Act. His teaser was very like motivational and sort of like, you know, spacey, so to speak. So let's see what kind of vibe we get from this one. Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Al Haytham told you he's a feeble scholar, did he? <laughs> well, that's a bold faced lie. Told you. Oh, shoot. So his false modesty was just a facade to hide his true abilities? Absolutely. He doesn't want others knowing his true strength. Well, how strong is he? Stronger than you? Of course not. <laughs> you know, I actually ran into him last week while I was in the desert looking for creative inspiration. What is this? He was music? going out there to study ancient runes anyway. Why didn't he travel with me? We could have split the cost. I didn't want to. No way. No way. No way was that the transition. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? this like 80, this is like electro style music is just too much. Frankly, however strong he is or isn't, you just don't want to mess with him. I thought you'd have learned to think before you speak by now. Ugh, we didn't say anything bad. All positive, actually. Surely you didn't drag me out just to play cards. Is that lying? We didn't get that far yet. We were just debating how good you'd be in a fight. Look at Tainari. You keep your cards close to your chest. Not at all. So you don't fight much? Yeah, right. With his temper? I don't need to fight. I love this group. I only need to think. Everything is connected. Oh, I this. All I have to do is find the weakest link, deal with the causal factors, and everything else tends to resolve itself. Hey, the process you. of elimination. This beam is just like so like jazzy. I don't know what the word is. Ooh. The swagger. Essentially, more time on contemplation, less time on execution. Simple, isn't it? <sighs> Not really. really. <laughs> oh, I knew we shouldn't have brought this up with you. I thought my answer was quite engrossing. Boss, this is good wine. I'll have the same, please. Bro, this strip player, man. The music, like the music was good. The music was good, but like, it's just, I just was not expecting this at all. That shot where he's reading the book and he turns around and that's the transition into like the combat, the, the, the gameplay, that was not expected at all. This whole trailer wasn't expected, but there was just something so comical about it for me. I just could not stop laughing. Like, <laughs> I just, I don't know. But it's just, I'm trying to take this character seriously and with the pairing the music with like the way he's looking at the camera, it's just, it's hysterical. Like it's, <laughs> I just can't, but it was a good trailer, but it just was so unexpected, man. I love the group of like Tainari, Sino and Kave hanging out like that and just playing TCG. That's amazing. But man, I, I'll tell you, man, I could not expect this trailer at all. Uh, you know, and the, just the scenes like that, I just, I don't know. There's something so funny about this trailer, man. And like the music with, with what's happening, is just too funny. But yeah, as far as his kit goes, it looks uh, pretty fun. Very fast paced. Um, it's like a mixture of like Dendro Kaching, but also like a melee version of Tainari. Um, I don't know if I'll be pulling for him because his banner is kind of at a weird time considering the next banner that's coming up. And his actual banner with the four stars and the five star weapons, eh, you know, it's just kind of mediocre for me. So I don't know if I'll be, be pulling for him this time or not, but we'll see. But either way, honestly, this is one of my favorite trailers just because it was just so unexpected and so funny. Like, it's probably one of the funniest trailers, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys thought about the trailer as well in the comments. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one.